everyone, welcome back to today's vlog. I have been feeling a little bit under the weather, so my voice is pretty much gone. But I just woke up, I took a shower, and I actually received a delivery of the almond cow machine that I ordered about a week ago. Um, now, if you don't know what almond cow is, it is a machine where you can make your own almond milk, oat milk, pretty much any non-dairy type of milk. And I really wanted to purchase this because I I normally basically drink milk with my coffee now I do love almond milk and oat milk especially with my coffee but all the ones that are available at say Food Lion Walmart um, they all have fillers and just ingredients that I really don't need in my coffee or any of my beverages really these extra fillers are obviously added for preservative purposes and also to kind of keep them homogenous or in a mixture um, but I really don't want to drink that stuff every single day so that's why I normally just go with regular milk even though I do prefer non-dairy milk so I thought the almond cow was the best thing to do just go for it and just to create my own non-dairy milk at home so I just wanted to share with you an unboxing and to make some almond milk together all right here it is I did get the essentials bundle that basically has everything um, that you need to create all kinds of different non-dairy milk so let's go ahead and open it and see what's inside. Okay, so the essential bundle comes with a whole grain of oats. We have some coconut shreds. I love almond milk with coconut. So this is going to be perfect for it. I have some almonds. Wow, these bags are huge. And some cashew. Well. I've never tried cashew milk before. And then it comes with a brush to clean the uh, bottle. So here is the actual almond cow machine. And then I think this here is the bottle itself. Let me open this one first. the milk in. I love that this is glass. I actually imagined it to be bigger than what it is, but it's really cute. I love the fact that they made this bundle. Now let's open up the machine itself. So with an owner's manual, which I never really read. Okay, it's the cord. Here is the machine itself. Wow, it actually comes with its own bag. All right. Here it is. Actually, pretty heavy. Yeah, it's very sturdy. All right, so here is the almond cow itself. All right, so here's the filter where basically all the nuts go. I need to take this out. And it comes with a little pitcher or a jug where you can place this here. Okay, and then we have some more instructions on how to actually open up the device and then the jug itself. All right, so I'm just gonna go ahead and wash all of this, um, just because I feel like being in a factory, there's dust in there, so I just will feel more comfortable to wash it up and we can create or make some almond milk. So I have one cup of almonds and just in some water. It's been about half an hour, so I'm just gonna go ahead and strain these. Okay, now I'm going to add some water and I'm just going to add it to the minimum line. I do want my milk to be just a little bit thicker. All right, I think that's enough. It's just a little bit lower than the minimum. And then I want to add some vanilla bean paste. This one is from Trader Joe's. 
just, oop, okay, now that's too much. <laughs> uh, just a little bit, just for a little bit of added flavor. And then for some sweetness, I'm going to add some maple syrup. I'm gonna add about one half of a teaspoon. I don't want it to be too sweet. And then just a little bit of salt, about a pinch of salt, I think that's good. All right, now this is where the fun begins. I'm having a hard time opening this. <laughs> All right, so right to open, left to go ahead and close it. All right. All right, so I'm just gonna go ahead and put in almonds. This is about one cup. Coconut, just because I love almond milk with coconut. Maybe add about two big heapfuls. And this is the first time I make this, so the next time, just depending on the flavor, I might add some more. All right, so we just have to Move everything to the side. All right, so it is all closed in. Now I'm going to go ahead and put it back onto the machine. All right, and we just go ahead and press that cow. Done. The light is solid green. Oh wow, look at that. We have almond and coconut milk. All right, so I'm just gonna go ahead and put this here. Look at that. I have to say, this is really impressive. It didn't take that long at all. There is the almond and coconut milk. Now let's go ahead and try it. Oh wow, this is actually really good. It doesn't have that like really nutty flavor like the store-bought almond milk half, it just shows me that they most likely have flavored it so that it tastes like not just overly. This is really good. All right, I'm almost to try it. I just wanna show you what the pulp looks like as well. Oh wow, look at that. So there are a ton of recipes online that you can use this pulp with. You can make cookies, um, just so many different things, um, especially with the oats. Uh, when I make oat milk, I can make overnight oats, which I really love, but this is really impressive. I do want to make Daniel some hot chocolate tonight. So mom got this hot cocoa bomb kit and we're going to make some hot chocolate bombs. Mixing some chocolate. So these are just some chocolate pieces. Just adding a little bit. And then we're going to go ahead and paint the chocolate into these molds.
Now we're gonna go ahead and make a second coat. These were put in the fridge for about 10 minutes. And we're gonna make a second coat and then put these back in the fridge. Okay, so these were left to sit in the fridge for a half an hour after the second coat. And look how beautiful they look. Okay, so now we just heated up a plate, just in the microwave. And we have some Cadbury hot chocolate, as well as some marshmallows, of course. And we're just gonna start building the hot chocolate buns. chocolate using the almond milk that I made. Look at how creamy this turned out. So now I have the hot chocolate bomb in here that we just made. And then here's the almond milk. Look how beautifully that foamed up. I can't even believe this is homemade. Okay, now. That Dan. <laughs> mm. Okay, everyone, I'm going to end the vlog here and just enjoy our hot chocolate. And I will see you in the next vlog.